your body as a structure of energy is always in a condition or state of energy. You are a state, or in other words, a body that is described by your name. The body Jennifer is in the state of Jennifer, having the experience of Jennifer. Okay? We can take a look at and speak of individual discrete threads that make up the tapestry of our energy. Uh, for example, we can speak of uh, a state of shame or a state of joy. And um, these are like components that all come together into one in combination. If there's, you know, those are just examples. There's many, many, many threads, kinds of energy, formats of energy, threads of energy, but they all come together into this total state that is you. And so you are in a total state and this total state gives rise to your total experience. Whatever state of energy you are in, that your body is in, that state has consequences. The consequence of the state you are in is your experience. So it may be said that your state is your experience. They are equivalent or at least extremely closely connected to the point of equivalency. And so if you are experiencing anything, it is because you are in a state that gives rise to that experience. And that experience may be internal, how you experience your own self and your body. And that experience may be external, how the circumstances of your life are, uh, you know, how circumstances are playing out in the story of the world, your corner of it, your life. Your state has consequences. It has thought consequences. It has emotion consequences. It has behavior consequences. It has structure consequences. It has belief consequences. It on and on and on. In other words, everything that you are right now and everything that you are experiencing in the present is due to the energy state that you are in, in the present. For states or th energy threads such as shame, I'll use that as an example, but of course there are many, um, I would call those toxic states. And toxic states have toxic consequences, toxic experiences. Um, and we might even call that suffering. But Thankfully, there is an at antidote to every toxic state and we can make adjustments to our states, to the threads, to the energy, to our anatomy. We make these state adjustments and then the consequences in our experience follow and we can keep adjusting to more life-giving and you know life-giving states and thriving experiences and that's why I'm doing the series on body anatomy and that's why I'm doing my series on energy for everyone starting with course one and a probably extensive series with many courses in it check my channel out I'm talking about energy in all of these things because so that you can know what adjustments to make how to do it so that if you are having any kind of suffering or anything that you just don't like in your experience, you have to come back into your state, back into your body, back inside that boundary and 
make adjustments, energy adjustments, okay? I want to make sure that you understand the difference between an emotion and a state. We often use the same vocabulary to describe both, but I am not talking about emotions at this point. Um, we haven't gotten that far yet. I'm talking about energy states, body states, the state of shame, the state of trust. Now, emotion is one consequence of, uh, of a state, but it's only one. And sure, there are emotions of shame, but if you are in a state of shame, uh, you are gonna also have thoughts of shame, behavior of shame, decision-making of shame, perception of shame, um, your, your, um, the way you hold your body will be, you know, the structure will be in shame, the events that you find yourself playing out uh, and is going to be painted in shame, the whole, whole thing. And so it's not just, and even if you're not having an emotion specifically about shame at that moment, if you are in a state of shame, you may be doing one of the other things like making a decision based on shame. So there's a difference. And um, you, it is, you know, these things are just one thread, one total, you know, there's lots of factors in your total state. And this may just be one contribution, but do you want shame? to be making a contribution to your total state? I don't. So it it's in combination, but some things can be very dominant. Shame could be dominant. And, and there are other toxic states. I'm just using that as an example, fear, anger. Um, but again, these are not emotions. These are states, okay? There's a difference. So just to finalize again, you know, a state is a much bigger and deeper issue than an emotion. And just to realize again, that as I go along in discussing anatomy of your body, that we can make these adjustments, okay? And we are gonna be, all of the adjustments that we're gonna ever learn about, all of the structures we're gonna ever learn about are the this is the anatomy and structure of your state, what state you're in and how to make changes or where to make changes or what to make changes with, what to make adjustments with so that you can have more agency uh, with your own energy. Your body is your set of energy and it's always in a state. And I want you to be able to have more agency with that, more awareness with that. And um, sometimes all we need is a little awareness. Sometimes it takes more than that. Some you'd be surprised at, at what awareness can do. So everything about anatomy is also a, really about the state of your energy. And thus, it's also about the experiences you have that flow from that state. Make sense? All right, we'll see you next time. YouTube.